Justin, you said yesterday you weren't really thinking about it, weren't nervous, weren't, weren't stressing out about the fact that you might be traded. Um, so what was your reaction when you did learn the news? Uh, I mean, I was surprised <laughs> based off of what I you know, kind of said yesterday. You know, same type of things. You know, surprise it took place. Um, but you know, understand and see it. And, you know, and, and now it's kind of like a, you know, it's, it's a, the bittersweet set to lead the fellows and you know the fight that we're making here in Cleveland uh, but excited to, to get to to, uh, to St. Louis and you know be a part of you know, what they got going on there you've been through this before is there any does it ever become easy you were with it with Terry once before in Boston and uh, how does it feel like to kind of go through it again now a yeah, years later? keeps trading me away I don't know what <laughs> what's up with that <laughs> but it, I think it makes it a little bit easier you know a lot of it the first time you Relationships and all that are, are so great, uh, but after you trade, you realize that they transcend baseball. You know, most of them do. So they transcend baseball, and they'll be be more than that. And so, uh, although uh, sad in the moment, you know, who knows what's going to happen within you know, after the season's over? You know, who knows what's going to happen for a while? So that's you know, that's that's the part of it. So it's it's one of those where you just you appreciate what life brings you, and you, you try and enjoy it the best you can. Because if you get too too troubled with it, then you're you're not going to be able to enjoy what's going on, and uh, life is meant to be enjoyed. What did Tito say anything to you yet, or what? What was that conversation like? Yeah, I mean, he. <laughs> I mean, we reminisced a little bit about how, how I was traded back, uh, you know, with the Red Sox and we were in Baltimore, and it actually, you know, him calling Shapiro and and, and talking through those type of things. Uh, uh, but just the fact of you know, how much you know, respect and love is there, you know, that he has for me and I have for this organization, and. You know the chance they gave me when they brought me over here to be a, uh, uh, you know, starting pitcher and to keep me in that role and allow me to, to somewhat, you know, at times flourish. So, uh, you know, I'm forever grateful for for all that they've done and give me a chance to do, you know, within my career, and uh, so that, that kind of makes it adds to the bittersweetness of it. Hey Justin, in spring training when you guys thanks for coming, Hoynes. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys had tabled contract talks at the end of spring training. It didn't look like you were going to be here on a multi-year deal. Did you start to think, well, maybe this could be the end of, of my time? I mean, as, as a as a business individual, that that goes through your head somewhat because you just think if you're a, a GM and you're trying to work some sort of team. I mean, if you can't be certain you're going to have this guy, you don't know what the price you're going to be able to do or, or have that. You want to get something out of it, and and that's. That's again another part that makes it such a difficult job to be a, a GM and be a ownership in this day and age, and just in general, because uh, you're you're working a lot of things, you're hoping, you're praying, but you know, they're also you know looking at the benefit of other guys. You know, we're fighting here, and they're you know, giving me a chance to go to St. Louis and get a good situation, do some great things there too. So uh, it, you know, they, they, they try and put a little bit of all that in there. But it seems you're not closing any doors. I mean, you can't burn too many bridges in this <laughs> life. That's only only a few. You, know, you can't burn them all, so you got to keep a few open. But uh, but no, and, and you just never know. You never know what's going to happen you know, after after you're free agent. You're free agent in life. Who knows? You go hang out at the beach <laughs> with Camino. <laughs> no better spot than right than that, right? <laughs> what after uh, with how you're feeling and. and I mean, in general, I was really excited coming back uh, before the the knowings of the trade. Uh, just just to be able to come back, having had the time off to to get some things right mechanically, get healthy, and all that. Uh, so I was excited about my start, and uh, you know, now being traded, it, the, the same ex excitedness continues. That I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. Again, I don't know, you know, if we'll be able to get that you know, that top notch velocity like I would like to have, but I think the control and the mid-range velocity and the sink uh, will all be very good. And um, I mean, that's that's what I was looking for, you know, going on the DL. Uh, but like I said, we'll, you know, we're, we're in a much better spot than we were when we went on the DL. And that's that's what it, it was exciting and continues to be exciting as I move on to St. Louis.